Yep. All right, girl. I'll be right over. Happy to help you start over. What you need. You have a good one. Next locomotive will be arriving shortly, so please be ready. Hey, get moving. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win, freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay, then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house.
Easy, girl. So up now. Yeah. There, girl. Let's go, girl. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good, girl. How's that horse doing? We've got room in the stable if you need it. If you ain't got the papers, I can give you the full price. <laughs> yes, 
please, I can sell that on. Now that's a proper name for a horse. <laughs> You chicken shit! Bet you couldn't hit me with a shotgun from two steps away! All right, loudmouth. Let's see how good you really are. Well, let's get to it then. I want you to, uh, to meet our friends. Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone <laughs> can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. And that's so, Arthur. Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think of 
Hey, hey, hey! There he is! Watch where you're going! Take it Are you about to kiss that guy or punch him? Oh, and we have our answer! Thank you. Stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill, looking as well as can be? Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater, uh, ah, well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but 
If he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. <sighs> Morning Yeah.
It's me. Dutch, I need you to do me a favor. Nothing too serious. I need you to help Herr Strauss. I've been working hard, Dutch. I know. And I know Strauss's business is not too glamorous, but it pays. Please, son, for me. <sighs> okay. Okay there, Dutch? Yeah. When are you going to meet Trelawney and the others? If there's a chance to get to shore. I know, I know. I'm on it, I promise. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay, Arthur. Okay. Go have a rest now. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Hello. That last two I had was pretty damn good. Glad to hear it. Compared with the pig swill you normally serve up. I'm just minding my own business here. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here we believe in Dutch's bluster. It's a little work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. Good morning. Hi, Karen. Keep it yes, unfortunately. Feels like every dollar we bring in, you drink two and whiskey. Should have known I'd be next. Ah, Mr. Morgan. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? We've been thinking about our problem all wrong. All wrong. That's all. Meaning? All in good time, my friend. All in good time. <laughs> Always the show, ma'am.
back in enchanted forest. This place is it. No. I wonder why they call it Valentine. Thomas and Bart. They pull her off the planet. Uh, I don't know. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, just a, just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. Well, oh, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. How many times you pissed yourself today? Okay, let's hear it. Yeah. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? Kim jesteś? I am here on behalf of Leopold Strauss. Where's our money? Ah, ah, Leopold Strauss. Ah, uh, nie mam pieniędzy. God damn it, you don't speak English, do you? <gasps> Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold! Dollars! Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Yes. I have your things. Okay. I have. Just...
kind of dirt. You must have come here with something. Speak English. Uh, very valuable, good? Not good yet. Just keep quiet. Okay. That should about cover things.
know Dutch is thinking. <laughs> this can't be good. I'm not even gonna dignify that with a response. Well, maybe you're just staring blankly for effect. What's got into you? Either way, it ain't getting us nowhere. You really have a plan, Dutch? Or you just keep telling us you do? Ungrateful bastard! How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. <laughs> good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Come on, girl. Yeah. Easy, easy.
Come on. Don't you put me down, friend! <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus, don't kill me! Come on, I could have a family one day.
Let's go, girl. Yep. Train will be here soon. Hi there. Welcome. Dear God, heaven. Let's go, girl. Yep. Hello, mister. Oh. Hello. Why the day, isn't it? Sure. What? I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class Burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes. Not the easiest. But, well... I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh! Good heavens! My bag! That thing is rubbing me! Go, oh, good heavens! Don't worry. That thing is a cow. Oh, sneaky one, too. Wildlife photographer. This is what I'd call a robbery gone wrong, coyote. Full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. 
You are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I'm can't thank you enough. I'm I'm thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. As I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. To attract any wildlife, I'll need some privacy. Look, you think maybe you should leave the wildlife photography to the fellers who know a little something about wildlife? If every great man talked like that, there wouldn't be any great men. A little ignorance can go a long way. Yep. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. Yeah. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? Hey. Hey. Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? The place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch. And all uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. 
Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Yep. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes. South of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Here. Yeah. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over the area. Yeah, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. There, look. I think that it's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You go right, Javier. You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking to me. It's a long time in my life. Very cute. Here, where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're.
gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking them up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. We should do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I want to a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Wait. Until he's got them off guard before crossing. Wait here. He's still reeling them in. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything! Oh, God God damn it, Arthur! Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Two half with left the canyon to deal with. We're gonna our way up there. Ah! Move on down. Oh, Good day, you son of a
that far. The camp's up this way. Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. You go right, okay? I guess. Let's get Sean and get out of here. Hey, someone cut this rope. My head's killing me. Cut me down. Come on. Arthur. <laughs> you know... You're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> well, I imagine you all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy is back in your lives now.
Find it. Yeah. Here. Yep, yep. Yep. Let's get. Wait. Yep. Come on. Here. Yep. Yep, yep. Let's get. Wait. Yep, yep. Hey there. Can I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head farming. We're still getting started on this site, but we should have some. Fine, big valley lumber for sale very soon, if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? Wait, look at these dolts. Not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food? Medicine? I'm starting to run low. I can't spare anyone to go into town. Not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Appreciate it. That should help keep us going. Idiot. Hey, mister. I just want to be left alone, all right? Yeah, I want a lot of things. Guess neither of us is going to sleep hey, happy. Hey, what I do? The simpleton out of the asylum. This what you want? I ain't finished with you. But if you don't... Let's go!
They got what? Who has them? Bounty men. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well. All right. You lead coming? the way. So how'd you find him? He said he was going hunting. Never returned. I was able to track him pretty easily. Only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp. I head for town to collect the bounty. Guess we're in sights again. When are we not? Fair point. What'll Duck do? Ain't for me to say. Doc will like it, whatever it is. to say? Yeah, I think it is, Arthur. Well, let's save his ass first. Worry about how to kick it later. Okay. Okay, we're getting close. There they are. On foot from here. fellers for this. Well, I'm gonna head back to camp, find a bottle, and nurse these bruises. Yeah. I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. When they gonna learn? Thank you. 